What's going on, YouTubers? Good dang 775, just a mile boy in Texas, back with another video. And today's video is a review of the game called The Gate of Firmament Shin Yun. Okay, Shin Yun, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. And this game is a Chinese RPG, not a JRPG, not a Japanese RPG, it's a Chinese RPG. So it's something a bit different. I bought this game quite a while ago. Probably I, I, I would say like at the beginning of the year. But then you had games like Monster Hunter World. You got um, Far Cry 5. State of Decay 2. They all kind of jumped in and pushed aside this game. Like kind of like to the backlog. And now it's the summertime. Um, end of summer. I'm trying to get through my back backlog. And trying to do reviews of games that I haven't played before. And I know this game. I've heard of this game before. Because I saw it on Steam. Back, um, I think last year or 2015, 2014, I think. And this game actually came out to the PlayStation 4, um, I think in 2016. So this Xbox is glad Xbox finally got on the bandwagon and got a game something like this because there is nothing like this game right now out there on the Xbox One. Okay, this is the only one of its kind. All right. Now, I did beat the game. I've put in 40 hours, give or take hour or so, through the game. I beat the game. Um, I beat the game, I think I was level 55, 56. Now, you can level up more. You can hit, like, level 99 and up, but you're going to do a lot of grinding, okay? But I do plan on going back and playing through the game again because after beating the game the first time, once I beat a game, I check on... That's when I usually go check online to see if a game has multiple endings. And sure enough, this game has multiple endings, three to be exact. And the the ending that I got, I got the good ending. So I wanted, I mean, the, the normal ending, I should say. Um, I want to go through it and play it and get the good ending. So yeah, I'm, I'm going, I'm running through it again. I started from the beginning. I'm going through it again. Unfortunately, there's no new game plus, so I had to start from the beginning. But that's fine. I mean, now that I know what I'm doing, I'm going to blast through get to where I was previously was like what took me like 35 hours 40 hours to get to where I was I'll probably get there in almost half the time okay now I know what enemies to fight who to go after who to level up with okay and there is a crafting system in this game okay where um, you can when you pick up certain items you buy recipes or you find recipes you can craft powerful weapons powerful armor you can craft potions and you can also like capture capture the monsters in the game okay you got a little sidekick in the game I'm gonna I don't want to spoil it but this little sidekick in the game can capture powerful monsters in the game alright and when you capture those powerful monsters you can mix and match those monsters to create a more powerful monster or enchant an item okay when the enchant items make make these certain items that you find in the game make them stronger more powerful there's some weird um, armor and weapons in this game there's like this one artifact the coin armor okay like you equip that special trinket that special um, item and for the each damage you take say like an enemy does 3,000 damage to your character it'll take 3,000 coins or 3,000 of your money out, 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 from, out from your wallet but not leave you with any damage so basically your money's taking the damage so <laughs> so very very useful especially in in some of the bosses in this game now some of the bosses in this game like holy smokes okay i think the first um boss that gave me a really hard time was in this cave the mirage cave you folks played through this game if you, you guys hit this mirage cave you're gonna run into this boss and this boss is a dick it took me like five times to beat him Okay, four, uh, well, six. Okay, I'm going to be honest, six times. Okay, I beat him on the, the seventh time, so, you know, sue me. But this guy was a dick. <laughs> okay, it was hard. And you're going to run into bosses like this here and there. Okay, it's like, and you, when you run into this certain type of um, certain type of boss, especially at the end, the end bosses, there's like these bosses at the end, they're dicks. Okay, they're dicks. It's like, how the hell am I going to beat that? So... You guys are going to know when you run into them. It's like, holy smokes. So, But yeah, I mean, this game, yeah, it's not going to be for everybody. All right? Um, the artwork, the style, the, the, the look of the game, it's good. It's colorful in some parts, and it's dark and dreary in others. Um, and there is a ton of glitches in this game, especially in the, the first stage. Your hometown, your home village, there's a lot of glitchiness. Okay? 
Now, there are glitches and whatnot in this game, but not to the point where it breaks the game, okay? For the most part, the game runs smooth, and I have no idea what resolution this game is running in, so I I'm just going to render this thing in 4K. I have no idea. So I'm just going to use my my Cyberlink Power Director and render in 4K because I did capture the footage of this game on the Xbox One X. So I'm just going to render it out when I'm doing this video, and all the footage in the background is all captured via Xbox One, Xbox One X Game DVR. Okay, but yeah, so as for my judgment for the Gate of Firmament, my review, I'm going to give this game an 8 out of 10, okay? Well, 1's being absolute garbage and 10 being the best thing ever since the day I was, a born, I was born, this is a breath of fresh air on the Xbox One X. Now, I tell you again, right off the bat, this game is not going to be for everybody because when I beat the game, I got a lot of diamond, diamond popped up, diamond achievements when I beat the game, okay? I, I, I mean, almost every achievement midway through the game is going to be a diamond because a lot of people get bored with it, okay? I'm not one of those type of people. I like to seek out weird games like this, weird RPGs, and play them through, and that's just, that's just me, okay? But yeah, this game, I give it an 8 out of 10. I love it, okay? I, that's why I'm playing through it again. And yeah, it's not going to be for everybody. Fan of Chinese uh, manga, Chinese manhua, hey, give it a shot. I think you're going to like it. But yeah, it's good thing 775, just a Maui boy in Texas. You folks like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos every few days. If you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button. Let me know in the comments down below. I do appreciate the criticism. It's good 775. Thanks for watching. Peace out.